The story we're following here at 530 test scores are up. The latest results from the Maryland Comprehensive Assessment Program, better known as MCAP, show improvements in all subjects. But education leaders say there is room for improvement. Dennis Valera joins us in the studio now to break down how our students did, Dennis. Denise and Nikki, while there are improvements overall, math continues to lag behind with only a little more than a quarter of students considered proficient. Some other troubling trends carried over as well. The state superintendent also revealed they are looking at replacing MCAP with a new assessment. We're excited that the results are all up. Nearly all grades improved on all subjects in the MCAP assessment. English was the highest, with now more than 50% proficient, a 2.4% increase from last year. Math, meanwhile, remains the lowest, with only 26.5% proficient, seeing the same increase as English. Students who are multilingual, economically disadvantaged, and with disabilities continue to test the worst. State Superintendent Dr. Kerry Wright says the Technical Advisory Committee took a closer look at math, finding anomalies. Obviously, when we listen to the principals and teachers and superintendents across the state saying, can you just take a look at it? That's exactly what they did. But Wright adds the committee's work has prompted the need for a new assessment, saying curriculum and MCAP may not be completely aligned anymore. You want to have the confidence that the assessment that you are administering is A, aligned to your standards, which is exactly the reason we revised all of our standards so that they're all now current. And then by the time the assessment um, for uh, science is procured, we will have our science um, standards in order to have that assessment aligned to that as well. When it came time for questions, some State Board of Education members asked the department to look into why the same demographics of students are having the lowest scores. We try to see if we could get an understanding and also how does it relate back to the districts. Also applauding the decision to find a new assessment. If there's not alignment, then uh, that could be a, a big cause of what we're seeing right now with respect to low performance. If you're teaching one thing and assessing another, it just doesn't make sense. A new testing assessment would not be in schools until the 2026-2027 school year. The State Board of Education also unanimously approved a resolution encouraging all school districts to have a clearly defined policy on cell phones and to leave room to revisit and amend it as needed. I think we should feel very confident about the direction we're headed here um, with you know, some, some high-level principals and, and providing the resources for districts and then really working with communities to establish these policies. 18 of Maryland's 24 school districts has some kind of cell phone policy in place already. Back to you, Nikki. All right, Dennis, thank you. And on